Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Building This City. This is Soap the Great. Um, as you can see, we are still in the Int, and specifically, we are at the Enderman Farm because we still have some stuff to do. I mentioned that in the last episode. Um, you see, we've got we've got Enderman showing up here. Okay, and that's that's all well and good, but unfortunately, we've got Enderman showing up out there as well. And that's a bit problematic because if they're out there, then that means we can't easily get them here. And if we were to go out there, there's the possibility of major damage to the player. So we need to make this safe for us and for the other members of the server. So we need to make it so that the Enderman can't teleport anywhere. Okay, and the way we do that is to make sure that any space that they could possibly stand on within 32 blocks around them is completely unavailable to them so that means that uh, any space where the player stands has to be less than three meters high because intermen are three meters the player happens to be two and uh, this space right here is two and a half so intermen can't come under this platform they can go out there but they can't come under here the other thing they can do is um, well they they could come here because there is no there is no platform right there, but because it's water, it actually causes them damage, and that's why you see all these ender pearls hanging out. It's because they happen to teleport in, and uh, that provides the last hit, same as me doing this. Um, so that's the other thing. Any surface that the player is not going to be on, like the top of the building, we need to cover in water, and uh, that is the first order of business, at least to make it ready for the water. Now this farm was built on a two chunk exact width so this is one chunk and over on the other side is another chunk. Um, that means that right across that that next block over is a chunk same as on the corner and the back and all the way around. All new chunks because this is a chunk border. Now if we were to build here and then put the um, put the water shroud on, what would happen then is the water would flow out and into the next chunk and that would load up that entire chunk. And I don't want to do that because um, I want to make sure that it's just these two chunks that Minecraft is doing the mob spawning algorithm in, not any of the surrounding chunks. Even though there's nothing there, it still takes up a little bit of processing power. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this border back one and we're going to take out that entire set of blocks which ju it's just two blocks all the way around I should have set it up like that to begin with but um, you know hindsight is 2020 so that's the first order of business is to move this back and make it um, or just get rid of that that current border move it back one and then we'll be ready for whenever it comes time for us to put the water on top so I will bring you back in once I have completed that and we will move on to the next phase of this project. Alright ladies and gentlemen we are back. Uh, let me just show you real quick without angering any of these guys hopefully. And I'm stuck in water. There we go. Okay. Um, so I've pulled out that whole line all the way around so these this is now 32, no 30, um, 30 by 15. So um, yeah, 30 that way, 15 that way. So that just makes sure that we're not going to load up those other chunks around. They might still be loaded because of light levels at the moment, but uh, they're they're going to have um, less space to calculate for the mob spawning. So it will get the efficiency back up. And of course, we're talking about very minor minor efficiency losses so um, I, I'm just a bit of a stickler on that but uh, I pulled out the graph paper uh, last night and started drawing it out and did a little bit more this morning and I think I've got the final floor plan that should be able to handle all the features I want to put in here and uh, so that's going to be the next step is laying out the floor plan so it'll be digging out some of this stuff because we don't need to go this wide we'll be digging out some of the back as well because we don't need to go that far back there's not a lot of stuff to uh, put back here 
just a little access point, maybe some extra storage or whatnot, but uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that one out a little later. Um, the main entrance is up here, so I'll be digging that out, bringing the floor up to y equals 2. It's currently at y equals 1 over there, and then, um, and then we'll go from there. So I'll bring you back when the floor plan is done and show you around and what, the, uh, what my overall idea is. So I will be back in just a moment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. So let's just take a look at some of the progress. Um, we have moved the little construction shack that is now under there and I've started on this platform. It's going to be four wide going all the way back to the end island. Let's get under here in the relative safety. Okay, so I've got a temporary roof on. Um, this is just to keep the Endermen from coming out here. The, it's, it's temporary at least in this spot because the enchanting room, which is going to go here, is actually taller than this, um, this roof is. So we'll have to work that in, but uh, it's, it shouldn't be an issue because um, once that roof gets in, it's still only still only two and a half max I think there might be one spot where an enderman could get in but um, I'll work on that I'm gonna put an auto chicken cooker in here that also goes above this roof um, which is at two and a half we're gonna have a bunch of storage in here just for um, ender pearls we're already getting started on those you see that two double chests it's crazy constantly get them and these are just my uh, my construction material. So, um, storage area for um, enchanting projects and stuff like that. So, uh, that is it. Let me let me just point out uh, the the floor plan area is a lot smaller than the four chunk area that I used to have. So, I had to go around and dig a bunch of that out, but it wasn't a problem. Just uh, hold the shift key down. And then back here, uh, there's a lot less space as well. So I've rounded it off as much as I could in, you know, Minecraft with all the blocks. But it uh, just took a couple of the edges off and kind of softened that. I'm going to have a wall right here. And this will just be like a maintenance area or something. I'll, I'll close it off, leave it two and a half high like, uh, like the other area, but uh, just be closed off by a wall so uh, so yeah let's see next up is the enchanting room let's get that out of my inventory or out of my hand there um, I'm gonna be using the tutorial by Azuma Void for his or not his one click enchanting but a guy on his server um, so you come in hit a button that's how many bookshelves show up so it gives you a little bit more control over what kind of enchant you want to attempt so um, so once that is done, I will bring you back, we'll take a look at it, see, make sure it works and everything, and then we'll figure out what to do next, okay? So, back in a bit. Alright, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Let me do a quick turnaround so you can see the reveal for the most recent progress. So how about that? Now... Um, I've got this room in. That is the enchanting room. And then I've done enough, apparently, on the containment area that the Endermen all stay in here. There are no Endermen spawning on top of here, and they're not teleporting out. And I don't even have the water cover on. So that was actually a bit surprising to me. See that? No Endermen. I don't understand. So maybe if somebody else knows more about the mob spawning and teleporting of Endermen, uh, you can let me know why in the world that is working. But uh, it's confused me a little bit. Let's let's just see this in action a little bit. Um, I've turned down the volume so that it's not as noisy, but it's still pretty bad. And here we are, just going back and forth. And I don't think there's any way I can actually clear this whole area out. Maybe if we had two people in here, um, it might happen. Um, 
But yeah, you can just see all the XP orbs hanging out, and they'll be littering the floor too, along with the Ender Pearls. Up to 35, no, 25. And I'm doing this so I can show you the next piece, because the last one, the last cut was for the enchanting area. You see all that? Yeah. All right. We're good. We got 30. So this is the one-click enchanting room that Azuma Void did a tutorial video on, and it's actually by a guy on his server by the username of Jerry Brano. I am going to put a link in the description for this tutorial so you can go check it out. Um, you could probably also check out Azuma Void's server and go check out Jerry Brano's plot. Um, and I can put the uh, XPD server information in the description as well. But um, this thing, you just you hit a button and it pops up a bookshelf. I did not want to do that. Let's get get the ender pearls off. There we go. That's the dangerous thing. These things you got to watch out. All right, so that just moves up bookshelves and it can give you a little fine grain control over how much XP you actually want to spend. So say I just wanted to do a 13 level enchant, you know. Um, I actually want to do a 30. Let's see what we get. Mm -mm, yeah. I've seen better. Okay, whatever. So we'll just go put this into our chest that we're slowly but surely filling out. And let's go take a look behind the scenes. Oh, um, real quick. The design I'm going for is a mix of black and purple because Endermen are black and they have purple eyes. Okay, so that's what I'm going for. Black and purple. This is actually the blue stained clay, but it looks purple. And this is a coal block. I couldn't find any other solid, um, solid colors that had no texture that uh, were actually black. Uh, the black stained clay is really a dark brown. I didn't really want that. I want jet black. Okay, so if you know of any other um, blocks that are a flat texture and are solid black, um, let me know. I would love to use that instead, but um, it can't be glass because I don't want to show what's behind there. I'm hiding some redstone back behind there. So any place where I'm hiding redstone or what's going on behind the scenes, I'm going to use coal and blue stained clay. And any other parts, I'm going to use black stained glass panes and purple stained glass panes. And if you look here, this is actually um, one of the little things. This is going to be extra storage and maintenance area, kind of, so not really that um, visible. But I decided to play around with it a little bit anyway. So we've got white, purple, white, black, black, white, purple, white. Okay, and if you take a close look at an Enderman, and you can do that if you are in creative mode, or um, that's pretty much, maybe if you have a pumpkin head on, but um, otherwise I wouldn't suggest looking at an Enderman. But this is the, uh, this is actually what they look like on their eyes. So it's white, purple, white, and then a little bit of black in there, and then white, purple, white. So that's their eyes. It's hard to see from close up, and you really have to be far away to to really be able to see it. And that's not actually going to happen because that's the void out there. Okay, so so yeah. Um, if you look here, I've got this opened up, and that's because I am looking at trying to fit a dual piston extender to make a flush door off of this block. So I hit a button or something up here, or I don't know. I'll figure it out. Hit a button here and then it opens that up. I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out. I may not have enough room to do it, but uh, we'll see. Let me just show you real quick too. I am building up ender pearls like crazy. So there's those that double chest is almost full. That double chest oh there's a little bit of space there. Let's fill that one in. Okay. That double chest is full. So two double chests and then another one almost done. So, yeah, you get bunches of ender pearls, and eventually I'm going to put in a trash can. And that's the next part to talk about. Okay, um, I want to finish this whole project in this episode. So that means this whole area, okay, this whole design, and then the 
hallway out to the main island and then the vertical drop from the main island to here. Um, I want to finish that in this episode. So we're going to speed things up. So when I bring you back in, we'll have a little automatic chicken cooker here, some uh, more tidy storage. So I'll tidy all that up. Um, and then we need to put out some anvils. And then I'm going to put a beacon on the top. We're going to get speed and regen so that the speed will help us just go back and forth as fast as possible. And the regen will make it so that we don't have to worry about eating until so we, we don't have to clog our inventory with food we can just come over here with whatever we need to enchant or repair and then on the way back out just grab some chicken and uh, we'll be ready to go okay so um, so yeah the chicken cooker storage anvils little trash thing and then the overall design will be complete you can see some of it coming together this area is almost done I might I might switch that up. I'll, I'll point that out uh, after the break if I change it. But uh, dark oak wood in the ceiling. And then, oh, I, I didn't point it out back here. But the lights as well. So if you go up here, it's just a piece of glowstone in the ceiling and a trap door over it. Pretty simple. And that is replacing all of the glowstone in the floor. So we'll have hidden lighting in the top. And uh, I don't know what we'll do with the floor. We'll figure that out. But um, all this will be done. And then um, I will bring you back, show you what I'm looking at for the tunnel design. And we'll go from there, okay? So back in a bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And you may notice I have 30 levels and a book. So we're going to take care of this real quick. Efficiency 3, I think I've already got an Efficiency 3, so we can uh, put that together. But let's, let's throw this in here. Just see. That. Yeah, there's the Efficiency 3. So we'll combine those, but we'll do that later. So when we last left, this was just finished, and I was going to be finishing up everything else. So let's take a quick tour um, you can see the overall design with the coal blocks and the blue stained clay instead of the purple even though I'm using purple stained glass but um, I did put in a little piston door I was thinking of going with what's known as a Jeb door but I couldn't quite figure out how to do it before I put this one in and um, I saw a tutorial on that earlier today and I thought about putting one in but um, this one's working so we're gonna go with this it's pretty simple the the mechanism has the door closing and opening from the top and bottom you can't see it so well there I don't know why maybe because of the frame rates I'm getting 20 right now yeah you can't see it yeah, it's probably because of the, the recording, along with all of those Endermen hanging out there. But uh, there was a switch, you saw that, and that is controlling these two redstone torches. This one on the back here controls under the, the thing here. There is a piston at Y equals 1, so right below that piston is the void and it's controlled by this um, repeater and redstone dust let's just put that, yeah there we go put that right back and this top one um, is powering that block right there and there is a repeater on top of that block going into the piston above that one so it's um, it's effective and it's pretty compact uh, a Jeb door would be much cooler looking but um, I don't really want to deal with the water that's up top there so um, that is that is what we're uh, dealing with there so we'll just leave it as is and I'll find some other place to put a Jeb door now that I know how to build one this thing right here is a little trash can and you have to go into the little maintenance area back here and put carpet all down mostly to hide this redstone 
but we've got this chest it goes into hopper and then that is a dropper right there and that one no that one yeah um, that's facing out there is a half slab under there just to provide a little extra protection but all of those items just get dropped out into the void and this is a basic comparator clock make sure I uh, put this back correctly so purple yeah basic comparator clock so we read from there go out come back around cycle into the comparator again and then go back and run back into the repeater um, just to make sure that we shoot everything out and that is it for the maintenance area did a little bit of cleanup on it um, but uh, but for the most part actually we need to close it off so let's let's take care of that and we're done I just wanted to show you that so we'll close is it gonna close yeah yeah I guess those recording things okay it's fine um, the lighting here is just glowstone behind um, what are those trapdoors yeah and then over here I had told you I was going to make a little chicken cooker so that's what we've got um, this is a design by Azumavoid and I'll link that video in the description but we've got three seed chickens up top they lay eggs there's a comparative clock on that dispenser which shoots them shoots the eggs into this half slab and when the chickens grow up they hit the lava and they burn up and we get cooked chicken and all those feathers that we have been getting um, I don't need them so I just throw them in the trash can alright um, I initially had coal blocks here and here and here and here but I wasn't sure if that lava right there even being surrounded by glass and stone and all that would catch these things on fire eventually just with some random block update so I changed it out to glass um, you can let me know if you think it would but I think I'll just I'll just leave it as the glass it doesn't look too badly and then in here is storage uh, what is that? Seven, seven total, seven double chests, two high on both sides. And I've just got my construction materials laid out here. And then over here is the repair and crafting area. And I'm going to put another anvil in somewhere in here, maybe under this. We've also got one there. So plenty of anvils just in case something bad happens. But, uh, that is actually the farm proper all done so the next thing to do is this tunnel and I wanted to bring you along for a little bit of it I'm going to show you the basic pattern I'm going with and uh, and and what's going to happen is it's just going to be a repeating pattern so we go out um, you see a bit of the pattern in here. We've got the cobble on the bottom, the colored blocks here, more cobble up top, dark oak wood on the ceiling, and this alternates between purple and black. And we're going to do the same thing out here, except we're going to do with glass. And um, I'll show you the repeating part once we get a little bit going here. And up top. I should have brought my special um, shears with me. Okay, so we have five of these. The only, the different one is going to be here on the uh, entrance, and on the other side, we're going to do the same thing. Just a couple of purple, purple things of glass, right there, um, but then black here so go five out so what's going to happen is this pattern is going to repeat seven seven blocks so five there and then two there and it's going to repeat 
every seven all the way out so there are 23 sections actually so I'm not going to take you along for all of those but I do just want to get the general idea of what I'm trying to do here okay and so we got the dark oak wood to provide a little bit of a um, little bit of interest kinda make it a little bit warmer because the, the glass and the stone just tends to look a, a bit cold um, I don't know about you maybe maybe you find that maybe not but, uh, but yeah there there we go so we'll put the glowstone in there to give some light we can take out those torches and this is actually one two and a half high so Enderman cannot spawn on there uh, you just heard a chicken go and what we're gonna do is carry this part all the way out as well and the water is gonna go on top of that kinda like we got right there so that is the design I've got for the tunnel and I am going to carry this out well I'm gonna copy it over here and I'm gonna carry it out all the way to the island where I'm gonna set up something similar to this with the this is actually spruce wood logs set up the spruce wood logs the dark oak wood in the corners there and finish that section off and um, at, once once that gets done I will bring you back in and we'll take a look at what I've got for the vertical tower to get back to the main spawn area okay so um, I will see you in just a moment all right ladies and gentlemen we are back now after the last cut I took a look at the overall footage and found that this episode was getting a little bit on the long side so um, just to keep it from getting too out of control I went ahead and finished this tunnel and the vertical one to get back to the end island proper uh, but I just wanted to show you uh, these bushes here I put those on top of cauldrons that are over glowstone uh, just to bring a little bit of green in here a little plant life and then I've got these other um, what are those anvils and some hidden crafting tables not very well hidden but they are there um, so just to show you how this came together a little bit so I showed you the uh, purple and then the black stained glass panes and purple again this overall look and feel right so I've continued that down and I told you that it was going to be 23 sections of that I ended up going 24 um, just because it, it makes it uh, it makes that vertical tower come up through the end stone which looks pretty cool in my opinion but uh, we will go over there and take a look at it let me show you real quick here um, I've got the speed and regeneration effects going that's because there is a beacon and I forgot to show you that but it's up there above the um, above this this roof here and it's covered in water we're not gonna go look at that but uh, let me cut real quick and we'll go over to the vertical tunnel and see how that came together okay alright so we are here at the other end of the tunnel so let's uh, just take a look real quick I made this vertical one two by three and we've got the vines here and let's go on up just to show you um, I've got the black stained glass on that side black and purple here and you can see the tunnel stretching off to the farm area that way covered in water that keeps the endermen from hanging out on top now you see how this this uh, tower is going right through the middle of this endstone if I had just gone 23 of those sections in the in that tunnel um, we'd be coming out on the edge of the end stone and I think this just looks a lot cooler jutting out of the of the island itself um, we can take a real quick look out here hopefully I don't anger any of those endermen alright so you see it right there I think that's pretty cool this is the old way of, of getting down there and it's no longer valid 
so uh, we have to not worry about that anymore. All right, so um, the other thing is that I'm using these glass blocks instead of panes on the edge, and that's so I can do that little jump off and not hit the lip of that wood right there. If I had panes there, there'd be a, a little lip, and you'd run the risk of hitting that, and well, it, it wouldn't end good for you. Um, but, uh, you know, with this tower complete, that means that we are all done. So the farm is done that way, and all of the decoration is done, all of the little niceties that go in that farm that help make it really useful, it's all done. So hopefully this will be a nice little resource for everybody else on the server, and myself included, but um, I've quite enjoyed it, and I hope you have enjoyed these last couple of episodes as well. I've enjoyed putting them together. Um, but hey, if you did enjoy, feel free to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out. If you really enjoyed, feel free to subscribe. We put these out every Saturday, uh, barring any other major emergencies, but uh, so far, so good. And uh, I'd really love to have you along for the journey here as we figure out this this game and uh, find new ways of building stuff so um, feel free to subscribe and as always I do invite your comments questions and suggestions you can leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer them um, as quickly as possible and uh, I do thank you for watching so until the next time I will talk to you later bye bye